Is gluten the arch nemesis in your diet or just a misunderstood protein? As we navigate the labyrinth of dietary advice, gluten often emerges as a prime suspect. The explosion of gluten-free diets and the buzz surrounding it has painted this humble protein in a controversial light. Is it really the villain it's made out to be? Or is it just another victim of nutritional misinformation? We're about to embark on a journey to debunk some of the most common myths about gluten. Stay tuned as we unravel the truth about gluten. Myth number one, gluten is a universal dietary villain. Let's debunk this right away. Gluten, a simple protein found in grains like wheat, barley, and rye, is not inherently harmful to everyone. It's true that for a small percentage of the population with conditions like celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, gluten can cause serious problems. But here's the twist. According to the National Institutes of Health, only about 1% of the population has celiac disease, and even fewer have non-celiac gluten sensitivity. For these folks, consuming gluten can lead to a range of symptoms from digestive issues to fatigue. But for the rest of us, gluten is typically harmless. In fact, many foods that contain gluten are rich in essential nutrients. So, unless you've been diagnosed with a specific condition that requires you to avoid gluten, there's no need to fear it. So, for most people, gluten is not the enemy. Myth number two, going gluten-free guarantees a healthier diet. It's a common assumption, but let's debunk it. Just because something is labeled as gluten-free, it doesn't automatically make it a healthier choice. In fact, many gluten-free products are loaded with extra sugars and fats to make up for the loss of texture and taste that gluten provides. So, you might be opting for a gluten-free cookie, but you're also signing up for a sugar and fat overload. Moreover, a gluten-free diet can lead to deficiencies in certain nutrients like fiber, iron, and B vitamins if not properly managed. It's like trying to navigate a maze without a map. You could easily miss out on essential nutrients. So the next time you reach for that gluten-free label, think about what you might be trading off. Remember, gluten-free doesn't always translate to healthier. Myth number three, gluten is a surefire way to pack on the pounds. This is a belief that's been floating around for quite some time, but is it the truth? It's a misconception that gluten directly leads to weight gain. Let's break this down. Gluten itself is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. It's not an evil entity lurking in your food waiting to add inches to your waistline. It's simply a protein that gives bread its elasticity and pizza dough its chewiness. The real issue lies in our eating habits. If you're indulging in high-calorie processed foods that happen to contain gluten, then yes, you might see a rise in the number on the scale. However, it's the excess calories and unhealthy choices, not the gluten, that are the real culprits here. Remember, balance is key. Any food, when eaten in excess, can contribute to weight gain. So, gluten isn't the sole culprit behind those extra pounds. Having busted these myths, what's the final verdict on gluten? Let's recap. We've taken a journey through the world of gluten, dispelling some common misconceptions along the way. Gluten isn't an evil monster lurking in your bread loaf. It's a protein found naturally in wheat, barley, and rye. While it can cause adverse reactions in those with conditions like celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, for most people it's perfectly safe to consume. We've also debunked the myth that gluten-free automatically equates to healthier. Gluten-free products can sometimes be higher in calories, sugar, and unhealthy fats, and lower in fiber and nutrients than their gluten-containing counterparts. So, unless you have a medical reason to avoid gluten, there's no need to fear the pasta aisle. And then, there's the weight gain myth. Gluten itself doesn't directly lead to weight gain. Overeating and lack of exercise are the usual culprits. Gluten can be part of a balanced diet just like any other food. The bottom line? Everyone is unique. If you're considering a gluten-free diet, it's crucial to seek advice from a healthcare professional. They can guide you based on your individual needs and health status. Before we sign off, Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to WellnessWise for more myth-busting insights. Until next time, stay healthy and informed.